that is one of the things that people say about Sapiens is that it's not you know, original research that you're doing. No. It, it's information that's been out there. It's just the way you put it together and mm -hmm. wrote it. So everything I write about Neanderthals or about the agricultural revolution or about modern capitalism is based on the original research of other people and the ideas of, of other people. And my job is really to just collect all of this and create a coherent and uh, engaging narrative out of it. How many different kinds of human beings were there? If you go back 50,000 years ago, then there are at least six different human species that we know about today, but some of them were discovered only in the last 10 years. What if those other species of humans had survived? Mm. How would that change our, our sense of religion? Yeah. How would that change the way we view ourselves? Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you think about the world today, imagine that in, in, in addition to all these divisions of race and politics and, uh, and ethnicity, you also had other human species on the planet. So what would, I don't know, the, the Christian creation myth be like? Do Neanderthals descend from Adam and Eve or not? Do they get a place in heaven or not?